Hey there, how are you doing? We welcome you all to the hands-on video and impressions of the Windows 10 Mobile build 10586.420. Microsoft has pushed this build to everyone running Windows 10 Mobile officially and also to insiders in release preview ring. So all the non-insiders who are running the Windows 10 Mobile officially on a supported device and the insiders in the release preview ring may have received the build 10586.420. So, as you can correctly guess, this is a Threshold 2 build and since it's a release build, it uh, release build from the Threshold 2, it would not bring any visible or big changes. The visible and big changes are now reserved for the Anniversary update or Redstone uh, 1, which if you are an insider with a supported device in fast ring or slow ring, you will get. So, <clears throat> since it's a TS2 build, you would not get any uh, big changes, but it brings some important fixes. So one of the mention worthy fixes are in like project my screen. So for many the project my screen was not working with last builds. Even even uh, while using a using an USB or via an USB it was not working. But now with this build we have uh, covered this on Nokia Power User that it now works. The project my screen now works via USB on nearly all the devices that we checked. So <clears throat> if you have a device uh, which is supported for this build. You should update to it and then you will uh, feel it so now we will also share our installation experience and impressions of the build we will do a bit of uh, things with this build we will do a bit of multitasking so we'll just check how it behaves so installation experience has been quite good on this build so it took around 30 to 35 minutes which is really really fast and it got installed it i mean for the restart data migration everything was done over in 30 to 35 minutes so we must say that it's quite smooth very good actually now uh, coming to the hands-on expression i mean impressions or like hands-on experience with the build it has been quite good we did not encounter any crashes any issues you can just check the general navigation first and it is quite good So let's send it to the background. So till now you have noticed that the general navigation when we talk about the build 10586.420 is quite good actually. Now coming to the multitasking part. So let's check things a bit more like so one by one. We will first check the camera, how the camera we have, so how it works. Let's send the camera to the background. Till now we could see that camera works really fast. Here we go to Cortana. Let's send Cortana to background. We can quickly uh, play a video and see how the video uh, play works here. The browsers have been really good on uh, uh, Windows 10 Mobile. The Microsoft has worked really fast. So we expect that the video will work fine.
So as you can see the video play really works uh, well on this build there are no issues as such we'll open a few more apps we can open the store maybe So now time to go for the multitasking. So one thing you can notice very clearly and that is that Microsoft has not yet fixed the bug due to with the start icon or icon of the similar like uh, Wi-Fi or other official apps they, they go missing so let's say if you open Bluetooth and send it to background. And you will see that icons are missing for two so for start it's missing for bluetooth it's missing so if you do same for wi-fi or any other thing which is like our official uh, app or official settings you will see it missing here and this is not a good thing that it has not been fixed yet it has been fixed on uh, redstone but since it's a release build it goes to everyone running a windows 10 mobile it should have been fixed it it should have been fixed by microsoft yet but it has not been done so there you go so let's quickly check the multitasking part let's open the camera and see how it resumes it resumes really fast let's open the edge and it really resumes fast good good work we'll open Cortana The resume really works appreciably fast here. So as you could have I mean, noticed till now that the resume really really works fast, really good on this build uh, 10586.420. So it's no surprise and uh, since the build 10586.420 packs many fixes over the last build which was 10586.318. It is obviously supposed to be faster and it is really, I mean, it really looks like a daily driver because you see no crashes, no issues, and it runs fast. The battery life is good actually. Uh, we have uh, only seen improvement. There is no degradation over the last build. Battery life has slightly improved over the last build. Then you, you could just notice that multitasking works so well. What is really worrying is that Microsoft is unable to fix a very small or I mean simple bug <laughs> which does not look really good so I can start missing. So with that we come to end of this video in which we have shared our installation experience hands on impressions of the uh, latest release build the build 10586.420 which has gone to both non insiders and insiders. So hope you have liked this video. Uh, stay tuned for more and keep watching. Thanks.